Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. We are checking out the fourth tutorial, Essentials. So I will load it, and I will see you on the other side of the load screen. All right, we have loaded on in. Finally, it's about time you learn how to build or how to better take care of your station. You should know the basics by now. Yeah, we've done three of the five tutorial missions. We're pretty good. There's more to a station than just building a few cables and refining materials. You're going to need to look out for your crew's needs. Let's take a look at the Meeple menu. There you can see all the individual needs of your crew. All right, so we're going to hop on in here. On the top right, you will see all of your Meeple's needs from stress and mood down to their hygiene and stamina. All of these are very important. Uh, stress? Stress is the most important of all. If one of your crew is in a bad mood, they will slowly accumulate stress. If they're in a good mood, it will slowly dissipate. Yes, mood is their immediate status. It can change quite quickly from their environment, such as a good conversation or a nasty fight. Keep in mind that the crew will ha with high willpower won't get stressed as easily. What about oxygen? The oxygen bar shows you how well their blood oxygen levels are. If it drops down and stays there for too long, they'll asphyxiate. They'll also get cranky if they remain in low oxygen environments. What about hunger? Hunger will slowly go down over time. Meeples will automatically look for food sources. If they remain hungry for too long, they will starve. And hygiene? Hygiene will slowly start to deplete over time. If bathrooms are readily available, they will be able to stay clean. However, you'll have to have a very fi however, you'll have a very filthy station if you don't. I am sure you can figure that out. And stamina? When stamina gets low, meeples will look for a bed to rest. If it reaches zero, they will simply collapse from exhaustion. Exhausted meeples are cranky meeples. Anything else? Now that you know about their needs, you can probably accommodate them. Let's start with food before everyone dies. Meeples will look for a food dispenser when they get hungry. It's always good to place one near the dining room area so they can sit down. All right, so let's go ahead and build ourselves a food dispenser. And that is under modules. And we got that right here. And we're going to slap that guy there, and let's go ahead and get the game running here. So let's see if we can find our engineer, and I see him there coming up the ladder. And it's Angle. That yeah, it looks like it's Angle, and he's going to build ourselves a food dispenser right next to the kitchen. That's nice. Great. Without a food dispenser, they won't be able to get access to any of the food in your stocks. Now let's move on to life support. Life support is fairly complex to set up. We need power and water to operate. To get water, we need ice and an ice processor. So let's go ahead and build an ice processor. And this go ahead, this passively melts ice stored or stored ice into water. So we'll put that right there. And then we'll come down and get that going for us as well here any second. And there he is building that up for us. And almost done. And there it is. Excellent. Now with an ice processor. All we need is the ice. Find an asteroid with ice and designate it for mining. So let's see. It looks like this has some ice there. And there we go. So our miners will go out and begin to mine that ice for us. So they have to come, put their suit on, go out the airlock and fly all the way over here. And they will start to mine the ice. I'm going to go ahead and mark these little pieces that didn't, oops, didn't get included. There we go. So I think most of that is now highlighted. So he is carrying that ice back and he will dump it in the storage and then we will be good to go on ice. Oh, uh, we've got to mine 10 ice. Did he not mine 10? Looks like he only mined one. So this might take him a little bit. Let's see if he gets it again on this trip. Why we're waiting on our miner to collect that ice, please don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below what you like about Meeple Station, what you don't like about Meeple Station. What do you like about me, what you don't like about me. I got pretty thick skin. I won't hurt my feelings. And don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Because that is the most important thing for you guys right now. So you're getting all my great videos the second they come out. Because I know you want to watch them multiple times all the way through. Because I would really, really, really appreciate that. I know that sounds like I'm begging, but eh, beggars can't be choosers. All right, so that run, he got seven. So I think he'll have to make at least one more run. And we already got it on the quickest speed. 
So I will see you when he comes back with the rest of that ice. All right, we have all of our ice and the general is back. Now that we have water, our life support will produce oxygen, but that's not quite enough. We need to make, we need to build some more vents to make sure our station is oxygenated. All righty, bulkheads are airtight and won't allow air to flow past unlike regular doors. Make sure all sections of the stations are being supplied with oxygen. All right, so it looks like this section's getting plenty of O2. Um, that should be getting oxygen. I'm trying to think, where does it want us to build the oxygen at? I mean, there's two air vents there. So that's giving air all the way through here. And there's nothing on this floor. I guess we can build one down here. It just wants us to build three air vents. So let's go ahead and plop some air vents down. We'll put one there. And then let's put one here. And then we will also put one right there. No one's cleaning up the poo. There's lots of poo everywhere. Hopefully our janitors get on that very soon. Then let's go ahead and put the air vents in. And that's that one there. And we'll bring this all the way over here like that. And then it looks like we should be good on the air vent. We'll put one air there. And I think that will connect them all. And we will have three air vents pumping out air into our station. So we've got two built and we're just waiting on angle i think it was angle right it's not let yep angle to finish this last air vent here all right that is the th three air vents that should keep oxygen numbers under wraps for the time being now we can move on to their sleeping arrangements meeples like to have their own quarters but if they don't have any they will find an on-site bed to sleep in once you build a bed, you can assign the encompassing room to a meeple by selecting the bed. You can view a room and its quality by holding shift and hovering over with your mouse. Now go ahead and try it. All right, so we can see this has is available and it's satisfactory. Um, so yeah, we're holding shift there and that's showing us that. Now, let's assign all of our meeples their own bedrooms. Start by selecting a bed and clicking assign. Then choose the meeple to assign it to, all right? So these, none of these are assigned, so we'll just start here. And Crab, you get this room. And this room will go to Angle, and oops, selected him. And this will go to Possum, and this will go to Notebook. And this will go to Cuckoo, and Chef. Ooh, you get the wood, I think this is a wooden bed. Yeah, Chef gets a nice wooden bed. So he will get that bed there. So now everyone has their own bedroom. That should keep them a bit happier for the time being. Now, let's talk about toilets. Toilets, yes, bathrooms are an essential part of the station. Without them, it would quickly turn into a stinky hell. If meeples don't have bathrooms to use, they'll just start stinking up the whole place and making more work for your janitors. Speaking of janitors, you should assign one now. So we're gonna head over to the meeple and looks like notebook. Does he have a good janitor skill? He's got eight. And Crab has nothing on janitor, so it looks like Notebook, you are our new janitor. Now you must be wondering, where does all the waste go when someone uses the bathroom? Well, this is a space station, so you better be sure it goes somewhere. Gross. We collect it in all the pipes. Hopefully, you already understand how utilities work. So let's move on to the part where I show you how to empty your waistline. Ugh. We need an ejector. We currently have one, but that will soon get overworked, so we should build an additional one before you know uh, what begins to overflow on it. All right, so we need to build another ejector here. So let's go ahead and plop that right there. And then let's see if um, we, I don't know if we'll, I don't think we'll need a pipe. So we'll wait and let our engineer get out there and build that other space ejector. You can see from this one, let's see, wait for it. There it goes, there's some poop shooting out. Here they come to build the other ejector. And there we go, excellent. You're starting to get the hang of this, thank you. It's time I taught you how to increase your workforce. As time goes on, you'll be wanting to recruit more meeples. And how do I do that? As your station grows, more appealing, you'll attract workers from other factions. They'll often arrive on trade ships, I see. Your station is coming together quite nicely. You'll probably have a migrant petition to stay soon. Let's wait for a ship to arrive. 
The other way, and it doesn't really cover it in the tutorial, but just so you guys know, is that they will randomly appear on the map and it'll pop up and say, Meeple so-and-so wants to join your station. Will you allow them or not? And this is kind of the same thing. So we've got a new migrant. A Meeple from the Aprogro Mercantile Guild is petitioning to join your station. Igloo forgot, oops, and it switched over to uh, Widget. Um, and he's from Pickle and Pickaxe to join our station. After realizing Pickle and Pickaxe Company didn't actually have any pickles, Widget stormed off in disgust. We will take him. All right, now you see as your reputation grows, you'll attract more workers. The more you expand your station, the more credits you earn, the more likely you are to attract migrants. Great! But enough about that. There is one last thing I need to teach you. $100 says it's how to withstand a meteor shower, but we'll see. Before we finish the tutorial, you're going to need to know about research. Ooh, I was wrong. Sounds important. Research is crucial, but you can't do it without a research desk. Build a research desk now before you move on. So let's go ahead and go here. And we'll build ourselves a little research desk. Uh, let's plop it down right there. So they will come down and build us a research desk. And let's go ahead and go to the research screen. So there's a lot we can research, especially at the start. Basic botany, body armor, clearance levels, advanced electronics, comms relay, larger air vents. And they each do a little bit different of a thing. And, you know, some are more important than others, obviously. So like basic botany will allow us to grow vegetables in the hydroponics. Body armor increases the health of our meeples. Clearance levels allows you to lock bulkhead doors, which will be important when we get officers. Almost there. Now you just need to assign someone to research. So we go to our meeple screen here, and let's go to Crab. And does he have any uh, scientist skill? And he's got eight scientists. So let's go ahead and assign him as a scientist, which, oh, there it is. Scrolling right past it. Now you're all set to begin research. Open up the research menu, and let's take a look. So again, here are all the different researches. Here, you can see all the current available technologies. Each technology has a footnote telling you if what it unlocks and if it unlocks more technologies. Go ahead and choose one. So let's go ahead and start with basic body armor. Now that you've selected something to research, your scientists will automatically work at their stations until it's unlocked. Cool. Too bad you don't have time to research shield generators. Wait, what? That's the end of the Essentials tutori Tutorial. You should now know enough to get the basic scrap heap together, but if you'd like to learn more, you should do the rest of the tutorials. So now what? Ha ha ha, you die. All right, so here come the meteors that we have certainly gotten very used to in the tutorial missions. So in this mission, we learned how to build the food dispenser, uh, you know, all the essentials, building a research desk so we could research more things, making sure we had plenty of oxygen in the station, how to get new meeples, which is obviously important as we expand uh, your meeple station. So thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to like the video, comment on down below, both on audio quality, commentary quality, uh, what you like about meeple station, what you don't like about meeple station, and if there's any games you're interested in me playing, and lastly, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get these great videos on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next Meeple Station video.